this story got me effed all the way up. When I tell you, I was scared to even talk about this story because it traumatized me so bad. Hi, if you're new here, welcome to my channel where every Wednesdays I talk about anything that has to do with the witchery, true crimes, and also the paranormal. You can subscribe if you want. I would love if you do. With that being said, let's get straight to the story. Warning, this is going to be adult languages. Ouch. Don't you guys hate it when you get a piece of hair stuck in your eye and you're just like, ugh. And the fact that I'm recording right now makes it worse. Warning, this is going to be adult languages, strong content and images that might disrupt the viewer. Viewer's discretion is advised. Have you ever thought about murdering your mother? You better not. Well, this young man did, well, at the time. He skinned his mother. His mother. I'm sorry, what? His skin too? And I'm not being insensitive at all. Like, I was literally just due to a ritual called Unholy Day from the Satanic Bible. Hey witches, just popping in. I just want to announce that I'm finally getting a collab with a small upcoming business called Kimio. Kimiko is a small business cousin based on brand of nail press-on. I am very into giving opportunity to small businesses. Now, they did ask me say, what I like and what I don't like. And I like that they are very considerate. Oh my god, these are so pretty. Hello, effing kitty? Is that a pentagram? Look. Oh my effing god, this is so me. A mystery set within the package. It did come with hand lotions and any necessities that you would need to apply on the nails. So this is the mystery set that I ordered and I just told her what I like and what my theme was. Custom nail set. Look, she customized it for me. This with star tails, rubies, moon symbol. Call the cost, my signature. Thank you, Kimiko, again for this collaboration. Thank you so much. And I will leave a link in the description box below where you get your 15% off. That's right, 15% off. Here's the code. Go ahead and check that out as well. Enter this code. And thank you again, Kimmy Kimmy Goo, for this collaboration. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to put this on. With this story, even though I'm talking about it, witchcraft and satanic does not relate at all. But the fact that it's in the same category of occult or out of the Christian religion, they see it as a evil thing. On February 2nd, 2011, Moses Moraz Espinoza walked into the Huntington Police Department and reported a crime. He confessed to the police officers that two days prior, he murdered his mother, who was 42 years old at the time, named Amelia Espinoza. Bitch. I don't know about you, but if I ever, if I ever was going to commit a crime, such as murdering somebody, I would never ever went to the officers or police department at that and snitched myself out right after he reported his crime the officers took him and put him into custody well reason why he went there was because his cousin Liliana Rivera had a phone call and it was Moses I'm just gonna call him Espinoza it says Moses but it's spelled Moises so it's like you know Espinosa called his cousin Liliana Rivera and said, Hey cousin, what have you ever done? The reason why he asked her that was because she practiced Santeria. She was a practitioner of the Santeria. And he asked her, What have you ever done? And she was worried. She was like, Why? He confessed the crime. Before he confessed the crime, he told Liliana to come over to the house to come pick him up. She was very worried, so she went there. As soon as she got there, he was already outside. And Liliana goes, where is Thea? He told her, oh, she's not here. In the car, he stated, allegedly, that he murdered his mom. And if you want to know the reason why he did this, was because to join a satanic cult. In the satanic Bible that he had, by the way, the officers even found it. 
at the crime scene next to all the tools that he was using. Allegedly, the reason why Moses decided to skin his mother was because of February 2nd, which was a day within the satanic religion on the second day of February. It is during this time, the winter solstice or the Astra. I don't know why they're using that. I don't know anything about satanic, but with the Wiccan, it's on the 19th. And that's just like, oh, people know one of people think witchcraft and satanic is the same thing. The difference between witchcraft and satanic religion is witchcraft is just a path of an enlightenment, a self-discovery. Or for satanics, it's more of do what thou wilt and yes is there similarities obviously but i don't know anything about the satanic religion and i don't want to if it, this was the case of killing somebody why even head that way you know what i mean for satanic religion it was known as unholy day during this time for you to be initiated into the religion of satanics or satan you have to have a sacrifice of an animal or a human and so he chose his mother not only was it stated that he did that, but there was not any reason why that he said he did it. A lot of people were saying the reason why he did it was because of the tension they've been having. Because she found out that he'd been practicing satanic religion. Backstory for Espinoza, he was very into dark music, metal, rock, punk rock, you know, all that genre. Giving me very... Richard Ramirez. I made a video about him already. If you want to check that out, it'll be in this playlist. Richard Ramirez, compared to him, it's always that dark music. If you notice, they listen to that dark music and it gives them like the, the aggression. I listen to dark music and that doesn't happen. So I need to be careful because what if I go cuckoo? I'm just. Mm. I should have never made that joke. Bad joke, right? <laughs> And his mother was not proof of it. She did not like that he was listening to this music. And I think the reason why was because she knew something was going to happen. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I was just like, well, girl, you should have stepped up and said, no, I shouldn't say that. Been practicing satanic religion and she disapproved of that, saying, this is my house, my rules. People were saying that was the reason why he sacrificed her. Well, to be honest, the first thing you want to do is sacrifice somebody doesn't that already sound like a bad religion do you know what i mean because you know how the mayans they used to sacrifice princesses or such at the volcano and just and then roll them down mm -hmm. if you ever seen apocalypse though you know what i'm talking about another reason was because he was depressed that his girlfriend was in an accident two months prior as well and this made him depressed that was the motivation for this murder it was evil intent that motivated this and i was just like oh yeah evil oh you guys know like oh it goes safe oh off topic kind of there was a story in fresno that happened years ago of this girl breaking up with this guy that was his first girlfriend right he called the girlfriend the girlfriend was like no i don't want to see you and the guy was oh well come get your stuff and she was like no i'm gonna have my little brother go over there well the little brother never came back it was said that the house is still there right now it's crazy a little boy was buried in the cement because the sister came and was like where's my brother that guy confessed it and said i killed your brother and you will never see him again boyfriend built a concrete over the body of the little boy and the house is still standing i remember i went to go see it just to see the house and it's still there crazy huh people are crazy call the cops just the thought of just hurting somebody the agony like dude i don't want to hear them scream you know reason why i think he was doing his human sacrifices or he sacrificed his mother was because remember how i said his girlfriend had passed away in the car accident well the page was open to human sacrifices and i think he wanted to join the satanic religion to bring back his girlfriend Think about it. Back in the days, there were crimes of human sacrifices, but the law was different back then. If you didn't get caught, and we don't have the technology back then like how we do now, I'm pretty sure if it was then, he would have never got caught. You remember Jack the Ripper? 
He got caught later, right? Did he get caught later? Ooh, I can talk about him next week, huh? No, but that has nothing to do with the witchery. And you're wondering how he did it? I don't even want to describe it. He committed the crime by using a rope to choke his mother, and then he skinned her and removed her organs, even her JJ, and used the flesh and stuffed it in a bag, a plastic bag, and then put it in a freezer. But the organs were never found. Because officers went over there after Moses or Espinoza went and confessed the crime, the officers took this literally and went to the Maywood apartment. A trail of blood was led to the bathroom where plastics, you know, those little plastic things, they covered the walls in the bathroom and the floor. And then they also found an electrical saw with pieces of the flesh still connected to it. Police found skin, bones, stuffed into freezer bags, the Ziploc bags, skull, which was the mother, teeth was taken out, all of it was taken out, her eyes were missing from the socket, and there was upside down crosses marked on top of the skull, like on the side. Oh, I need a moment, hold on. Oh, I forgot to also mention, they found the mother's skull in the backpack, and he tried to say that it was premeditated murder. This was not even a crime of passion. He literally sat there and thought about it. And remember how I said that they found the satanic Bible at the crime scene? Well, guess what page it was open up to? You guessed it. Human sacrifices. How to. Imagine you sat there and read a book of human sacrifices. Picture a YouTube channel. <laughs> human sacrifice. The fact that was not premeditated Pre you know what I, I'm, that word yes that word the fact that he sat there and filleted her the whole time he didn't have to think about it he just did it you had to sit there and fillet your mother I, I i'm thinking about doing oh that's not premeditated i'm pretty sure it wasn't premeditated oh, oh my god you guys i finally said it right <laughs> clap for me it wasn't premeditated he sat there and filleted her Every inch, every second of every moment while he was doing this, he didn't give two Fs, three at that. He kept on going. That's some bullshit. Because of this crime, the prosecutor stated that Espinoza, who strangled his mother and then filleted her and dismembered her body, was sentenced in prison for a degree murder in June. Superior Court Judge Thomas I. McNew of the Los Angeles court sentenced Espinoza to 25 years without parole, stating that the slaying certainly brings up at the top of the most disgusting, hideous, vulgar cases he's ever seen of his 50 years legal profession. Well, yeah, dude, you guys, today's story got me all effed up, okay? When I tell you the thought of this even happening in real life, you're just like, really, dude? Your own mother? It's just the thought of someone hurting their own mother makes no sense. I get that we argue with our parents. I get that we argue with, like, siblings and everything. But just to hurt your family member and your mother who gave birth to you at that, you must be really effed up in the head. Well, thank you guys for watching me. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. With that being said, be careful out there. People are crazy. Call the cops. Blessed be my witches awakened and have a good night. Bye.